Now it turns out that for several reasons, water is actually a very special liquid. So we've seen how the volume of a liquid changes as the temperature changes. So we can write that the change in volume is equal to beta times V0 times delta T, where V0 is the initial volume. Now this is a relatively good approximation for most liquids. This is even a good approximation for water above four degrees C. However, below four degrees C, water is a bit special. So what I've got here is a density versus temperature graph for water. And you can see that at four degrees C, there's a turning point. So above four degrees C, as water increases its temperature, it expands and so it becomes less dense just like the equation delta V is equal to beta times V0 times delta T tells us. Now you've probably experienced this physically on a warm day, if you're the first person to jump into a swimming pool, you'll notice that the top of the pool is quite warm and if you dive down deep, it gets cooler and cooler. So this is because less dense things float on more dense things and so the warmer water is less dense and floats on top of the pool. Below four degrees C, water behaves a bit oddly, it actually becomes less dense as it cools down. So water actually expands on cooling below 4 degrees C. Now you've probably actually seen this as well. If you see a pond on a cold day, so where it's dropped below 0 degrees C, you'll notice that the ice forms on the top of the pond. So this is because the colder water is now less dense and so floats on top. So that top layer is the coldest layer and that is where the ice forms. Now this is actually very lucky for things which live in ponds and don't want them to freeze over winter. It means that the ice forms on the top and the ice forms a nice insulating layer which slows down the heat loss from the pond to the surroundings. However, this is quite odd behavior for liquids. For most liquids, they continue to get more dense as they cool down. So with most liquids, where you get the phase transition from liquid to solid is at the bottom of the liquid rather than at the top.